Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video. It's going to be my very belated March favourites. So I'm afraid I didn't get this up towards the end of the month or even early April because um, I was a little bit poorly last week. I took maybe a week off and today is my first day filming in about two weeks actually. So forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty. Um, you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, we saw a video from you just a couple of days ago and that's because I massively pre-filmed a load of content for my Fashion Mumbler Spring edit and I was planning for all of those spring themed videos to be back to back all over the space of a week and really like bang in loads of spring content but because I was poorly and not filming anything I decided to spread them out so that is um, that's that and today I'm going to be going through all of the things that I have absolutely loved throughout March and the beginning of April because we're nearly halfway through the month now I cannot believe how time flies and it's a real mixture of beauty and fashion pieces. I'm going to very quickly before I get started though say thank you so much to everyone that has joined my channel recently. We have seen lots of new subscribers since the launch of the spring edit so if you are new then welcome, thank you very much for joining us and I hope you are enjoying the content and if you don't know what I'm talking about with the spring edit then I will leave the Fashion Mumbler 2018 spring edit linked down below. Basically loads of spring themed fashion content Content, ranging from an under £50 haul to what investment pieces to choose for spring to how to clear out your wardrobe for spring. There's loads and loads of content. And final notification, if you guys are not yet subscribed then please do and also it's this little button down at the top of the description box and if you are subscribed then please hit the notification bell and um, you have to press it twice so that you always get notified when I post a video. It's not annoying, it's just like an Instagram notification. And basically the reason why I ask is because a lot of you have been letting me know that you haven't realised when my videos have gone up because YouTube is now being really weird with how it tells you which of your YouTube channels that you've subscribed to have uploaded so you don't always get notified unless you have the notification bell turned on. Really weird, so just click the little bell and let me know by leaving the word bell in your comment down below if you have done that because that would be amazing. Okie dokie, so my first favourite of the month of March has to be the Fashion Mumbler presets. So I launched my own range of Lightroom presets in March and it was so that you guys could get the same lovely effect on your photos for Instagram as I use on my personal Instagram and I've been using these presets and they're basically like a filter in Lightroom which is part of the Adobe Creative Suite, I'll leave a link to Lightroom down below as well, for on my Instagram for the past 18 months or so and it's basically my super easy way of making sure all my photos look the same, they all look really professional, really light, bright and kind of pink as well. So I decided that I would sell my presets, a whole bundle of them for you guys to enjoy and use as well to help you up your Instagram game or make your blog photo editing easier, make your video editing easier and you guys absolutely love them. I have really enjoyed looking at the Fashion Mumbler presets hashtag and seeing how you have been updating your Instagram using them. If again you don't know what I'm talking about I'll leave the video where I explain all about the presets and also the link to buy them down below and if this video has inspired you to buy them then I have a little 20% off code for you. Leave the word YouTube favourites in the box at the checkout and you'll you'll get 20% off. So that's my, my little treat to you guys for watching today's video. Another favourite to mention because I'm wearing it and I know that I will forget if I don't mention it early on is the Pandora Shine Jewellery Collection. So Pandora is a jewellery brand that we all know and love and for me their new Shine Collection is my favourite collection they've ever done. It is so me. My favourite piece has to be this honeycomb ring. I'll insert a close up of it here so you can see what it looks like properly. I've been wearing this throughout pretty much the whole of March and April so far and I just love it. I think it's so effective, so beautiful, really different as well and it's nice. I feel like it was about time I switched up my jewellery so yeah, big fan of that. I've also been wearing the um, honey... I can't remember what this one's called, like a honey hexagon ring and also their crown ring and this necklace I've had for a long time, all Pandora. I'll leave them linked down below as well but yeah, that is a huge, huge favourite of mine this month. And then I have a couple more accessory favourites. These I picked up recently from H&M and I actually have a pair of Chloe sunglasses really, really similar but I thought these, and I have actually got my hair stuck in them, I thought these were fabulous and I think they were around $7.99. I will try my hardest to find a link to them down below but normally I don't have too much luck on the H&M website. I did buy these in the Regent Street store. 
but I just love them. I feel like they are so on trend for like sunglasses trend for this time of year. Um, round bags, round sunglasses, that kind of 60s vibe is just absolutely huge at the moment. Of course, I love the colour. They're pink, which is just you know, everything that I love in life, and they're rose gold, so they just tick all the boxes, super affordable, and they will definitely be coming with me on my upcoming travels. Speaking of affordable accessories, it would be no surprise to any of you that follow my Instagram that I'm including my Topshop round bag in my March favourites. This bag is £28, which I think is incredible, such an affordable way of adding that circle bag trend to your spring and summer wardrobe, it instantly just updates outfit I have worn this for again for the past month six weeks or so and just every time I wear it and post on my Instagram you guys just want to know where it's from and people just can't believe me when I say it's 28 pounds because it really does make your outfit look so expensive and I do have a video all about making your outfits look more expensive coming very soon as a kind of follow-up to my how to look expensive video which hit a million views this month, insane. I'll also leave that one linked up on the screen. But yeah, this is a really affordable way of giving your outfit a real boost, a real boost of the trends, a real boost of making it look a little bit more luxurious. It also has a crossbody strap, but to be honest, I usually wear it just um, handheld. Also from Topshop, I absolutely fell in love with these shoes this month. They're a pair of pink mules and they're pointed toe. I feel like they look a little bit like Aladdin slippers, a tiny bit like my Nicholas Kirkwood badger flats that I absolutely adore. And then I love this little gold round heel. I think that gives them such a beautiful finish. They were... I think they're around £65, so not mega mega affordable, but I always think Topshop have a perfect balance between price and quality. I always think they're really good value. These are super soft leather, very very comfortable. I wore these for a lot of walking in Vienna, I explored all day in them and found them very comfortable. And because they are so open and easy to wear, I think they go with so many outfits. So definitely a no-brainer when it comes to including these in my monthly favourites. And then we're whizzing up to something a little bit more high value for my next accessory favourite. And it is my new Valentino Rock Stud sandals. So I did mention in my under £50 haul, in fact I have them here, <laughs> these dupes that I got from Misguided. And I love these as well. And if your budget does not stretch to these, or you just don't want to spend the money on the real deal, then these are amazing. From misguided I will leave them linked down below 35 pounds but my heart is firmly with the Valentino ones the color of these is just perfect I have got a lot of metallic accessories and I find that metallics are often a bit of a neutral I actually wrote a whole blog post on how to wear metallics I'll leave that linked down below as well this is gonna be a very chunky description box but because they are a metallic kind of rose gold, I find they act as a neutral piece and that means that they go with so many things, which is really important to me when I do invest in a designer piece. I want to get loads of wear out of them, so I find that this colour is very, very versatile. Because of all the straps, they don't move around on my foot. My foot is firmly in place, so they're very comfortable. Low chunky block heel, really easy to walk around in all day, as I have done on several occasions. Again, it's the kind of accessory that instantly makes your whole outfit look more expensive. If you want to wear head-to-toe Primark, head-to-toe Topshop, and then just a designer accessory such as a pair of shoes like this, instantly it just makes your whole outfit look a lot more luxurious. And if you guys have watched my previous videos, you'll probably have heard me saying how my Valentino rock studs with the pointed closed toe are my best investment. I wear them so much so I thought that these were kind of along the same lines and hopefully I'll get almost as much wear out of these too. One more fashion favourite and I feel that this could be a bit of a Marmite piece as I mentioned when I first introduced it to you guys. It is my gold metallic leather jacket. Now this is a kind of piece that you will either love or hate and personally I've never loved a leather jacket before but I've always kind of wanted one in my collection. I feel like they are a real classic and when I did a wardrobe staple video I asked at the end what your wardrobe essentials were and so many of you came back with leather jacket but I was like I don't have one I have never fallen in love with one before until I saw this. If there was ever to be a leather jacket that I would fall in love with it's absolutely this one. It's almost rose gold but not quite got the same pinky tone. It's just a very wearable, not too yellowy, not too pinky, just the most perfect golden shade. It's from Karen Miller, not sure if I mentioned that. Um, the quality is absolutely fabulous and I feel like it instantly just adds 
so much wow to your outfit. I love it so, so much. It photographs beautifully. Great for this time of year when you want something around your shoulders but you don't want to be too hot and bunged up in a coat. We are going to Texas in a couple of weeks time so this will be great for in the evenings when I want just a little bit of extra warmth and it's most definitely a statement piece. So big, big fan of this and yeah, just so excited to wear it so much more. So now moving on to beauty favorites and the first is the first product that I apply after cleansing and toning in the mornings and it is from Shiseido and this is actually their first piece of skincare that I I've tried and that's just reminded me I also have from their Wazo range which is kind of their millennial range a facial exfoliator which I was meant to include in this favorites as well so I'll also leave that link down below because it's amazing I digress this is called the Ultimune power infusing concentrate this is a kind of product that basically works the to make the rest of your skincare do its job really really well it prepares the skin in a perfect way to absorb the ingredients from your serum from your moisturizer it helps to balance out the skin and just generally give you a good skin day every day. I have been using this I would say six weeks now and my skin has never been better behaved I would say is the best way of describing it. You know when you just wake up and your skin's great. It's not dry, it's not super oily, it's just balanced, it's just happy skin is the best way to describe it. And considering I've been eating a lot of comfort food, having been ill, and yet my skin has still been good, I think this is a very powerful product. A big, big fan of this from Shiseido. And then a couple of base products, and I still owe you guys an everyday makeup routine, but I have been doing my makeup in vlogs quite a lot, so definitely um, watch my vlogs if you'd like to see how I'm doing my makeup at the moment. I just... Yeah, being poorly does not lend itself to doing makeup routine videos. However, I must let you know that I have been loving the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This, I feel like I fall in love with it this time every single year. I think in my last couple of spring makeup routines from previous years, I have featured this. It does what it says on the tin, it gives your skin a really healthy, luminous glow. It's got a beautiful, lightweight coverage, and yet it does cover any redness, it's long-lasting, it makes your skin look really fresh, and just everything that you need at this time of year. It's got the vitamin complex, so also great ingredients for your skincare as well. Very affordable and also long-lasting, so just tick, tick, tick with this one. Next is another base product, and it is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. So I was really kindly sent a huge selection of these. The shade ranges are absolutely amazing. The one that is perfect for me is 1C, which kind of sounds like it's probably one of the lightest ones. I use this mostly underneath my eyes. I find that it doesn't crease. It is, as you can guess by the name, very, very long lasting. And it blends really well with not only my skin, but also the rest of my makeup, which is so important. I'm not particularly skilled when it comes to creating like a perfectly illuminated contoured look. So for me, I want my concealer to do its job and just work really really easily and that's exactly what this does. Now I don't know if it's technically too early to include this because with skincare I like to only really rave about something after I've used it for about three weeks whereas I've only been using the Elemis Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix for about 10 days but already I can tell this is going to be a huge huge favorite. I'm already a big fan as you guys know of the whole Pro Collagen range I use the moisturizer, I use their face oils, I just love it so much. It's just fantastic for the skin, great for anti-aging, great again for keeping the skin looking lovely and luminous, lovely and bouncy, very balanced huge fan and this is the newest addition to the range. Elemis invited me into their um, House of Elemis which is in Mayfair for a facial to experience this for the first time and it was one of the best facials I have ever had. I fell asleep into such a deep relaxed sleep, sleep that I was majorly snoring and I feel so sorry for the therapist but this was just the most heavenly product to try out within the facial. The smell of this with all the fabulous ingredients is just absolutely divine. It's one of these products that you want to rub in your hands and inhale before you press it onto your skin. It smells very botanical, almost kind of herby, just very, very spa-like, very relaxing. So what makes this so special is, of course, it has all the benefits of the Pro Collagen range, but it also has something called drone peptide technology in it. And what I believe that to mean is that it has technology inside that means that it really targets the specific concerns that your skin has. Instead of just whacking on the anti-aging or whacking on the 
I don't know, brightening effect. It finds what your skin needs and it works on that specifically, which is probably why it works for so many different skin types. I've heard of other bloggers that are already raving about this too. For me, I just noticed mostly that it brightens, makes my skin look a lot more awake, a lot more fresh. And like I mentioned with the Shiseido product, that combined with this means that I wake up with great skin in the mornings and it's just such a pleasure to apply. Order wise, I apply this after my night oil. I've been mixing up the Elemis Superfood Oil, um, the Pro Collagen Marine Oil, and also the Neon Face Oil. I also really like that one. But this is now always my final step. So big fan of this. Um, also keep an eye on my Instagram because this is going on Elemis as part of the Today's Special Value. So you can get this at an amazing price with a huge bundle of other products. I think it's going out on the 14th of April. So um, keep an eye on my Instagram because I'll be doing an announcement for that. But yeah, huge, huge fan of this. Something else that I've been applying before bed is this from YSL. The official name is the Volupte, Volupte Night Rehab Lip Mask. I'm sorry, that was so hard for me to read. It's so tiny. Um, but this is a lip mask that you apply just before bed. Basically a very nourishing, very intense lip balm. But I personally hate having to dip my finger in a lip balm. I find that I get lip balm under my nails. It's just not an enjoyable experience. Whereas this is very much an enjoyable experience. Firstly, it tastes and smells amazing. I would say it's kind of watermelony. Oh my goodness, it is so fresh. It makes my mouth water and I'm craving a cocktail whenever I smell this. Also, it's a doe foot applicator. Hopefully you can see it there. So it's just super easy to apply on the lips. Gives a very, very soft pinky white color, but who really cares when you're about to go to bed? And also the packaging of this is absolutely beautiful. So I've been really enjoying this. A few more products to go, and this one has been a real indulgent pampering treat this month. Something else that smells absolutely incredible. It is the Molten Brown Orange and Bergamot Radiant Body Polisher. I've always loved Molten Brown body polishers. I think they are very effective, firstly. The granules are the perfect size. This one I think is walnut pieces. Bitter, oh no, this one is apricot kernels. It's the perfect consistency that's not too abrasive on the skin, but you can definitely feel it working. You really feel like your skin is very buffed and smooth after using it. The smell of this one, orange and bergamot, oh my goodness. I think if you, oh my gosh, I think if you're a fan of the, I definitely just dribbled that because I just grabbed it straight out of the shower. I think if you're a fan of the Naranji range, and I know that so many people are like cult followers of the Naranji smell, it's not similar necessarily, but it's along the same vibes. I find Naranji so fresh and just so amazing to have in the house and this I think is exactly the same. It's very awakening, very very fresh and so an absolute pleasure to buff the body with. This is part of my pre-tanning routine. Um, I do find that I get through them really quickly which is very sad because obviously they do have a premium price tag but just a major major treat. Absolutely love them. These make amazing gifts as well whenever it's my mum's birthday. I treat her to something from Molten Brown and I know that this birthday it will be one of these. Following that I have two tanning favourites. I'm kind of bundling them into one. Firstly, the La Mer Face and Body Gradual Tan. I am a huge, huge fan of gradual tans. I find it very easy to maintain, a lovely glow all year round. I do sometimes give it a bit of a miss during the winter, but now that I'm starting to wear short sleeve items and, yes, getting my legs out, I do find that I want to be consistently bronzed, as opposed to the peaks and falls of fake tanning and then super pale, fake tanning and then super pale. I find that gradual tans are a great way of having a nice colour all the time. And this is my current favourite. It is a premium product, of course, it's from La Mer, so to counteract that, I would say this is an investment piece. If you can afford it, then it's amazing. But I also love budget ones as well. I find Garnier is fabulous. I find that Sienna X is great as well. But to be totally honest, my current favourite at the moment is this one. I find it goes on really well. It sinks in super quickly. It smells gorgeous. And the tan, I think, I haven't done it in a couple of days, but it's just such a lovely natural colour. I never get any streaks. I never get any telltale signs. And it's just so nice to be confident with your tan enough that you don't need to worry about preparing the skin the day before you put a skirt on for example. It's just nice to be consistently brown. So this is something that, despite the price tag, I will continue to repurchase because I am a huge, huge fan. Recently I have had quite a few people actually complimenting me on my tan from my face and they have been asking what I'm using and on my face at the moment I'm using the Isle of Paradise Light Self Tanning Drops. So these 
are from a new brand, Isle of Paradise, which is created by the incredible spray tanner and just all around fabulous person, Jules von Hepp. He's created this brand, it is organic, cruelty free, it's got fabulous ingredients in there such as chia seed, avocado oil. He's basically put all of his expertise from many years of tanning into this range. I am using the tanning drops. It does actually say to put a few drops in your moisturizer and build it up that way, but I've been putting these straight on my face and then washing my hands very thoroughly afterwards. I'm very impatient but that is what works for me so before my moisturizer I give it about 10 minutes after applying this before putting anything else on I have got the color light which is probably why it works so well in that way there you go you can see the lovely bottle very very photogenic and pretty packaging and it's just a really nice way of consistently having a glow to my face as well so yes very big fan of that one great new launch well done Jules you have smashed it. <laughs> Last but not least, a new fragrance favourite and this month I have been loving the Jo Malone London Jasmine, Sambac and Marigold fragrance. This is a cologne intense so it is their slightly higher price point but I think that what you get for that is such a strong powerful scent. You literally only need one spritz of this and you smell divine the entire day. This is a very warming scent. I would say it's both masculine and feminine. Gosh, I feel like I cannot do it justice with my words, but definitely try this out if you can, if you happen to be near any German in London boutiques. But yeah, for this time of year, I think it's perfect because it's fresh, but also warming at the same time. And it's just absolutely amazing. And I want this to be my signature perfume. It's just... <sighs> Love it so much. So those are my favourite pieces from the month of March and the beginning of April as well. I would love to know what you guys have been loving throughout the past month, so let me know down in the comments below what your favourite beauty item and favourite fashion item of the past month has been. Um, and if you've tried any of these, then let me know your thoughts as well. So that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the description box for links to everything mentioned in today's video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Red eyes, strobe lights moving across the walls.